All right, I still have some of that. Lay on my brush, so I'm just going to scrub it in here and leave that be. Very big part of a successful painting is to get in all the shapes and you know the, the color shapes before you start working in the details because there are a lot of changes that you can make. Um, in a painting, and if you start putting the details in too quick, you've uh, robbed yourself of the opportunity to get them in. So, okay, that's that for now. Just seeing a light edge on that cloth back there. All right, we're getting it someplace. I'm gonna start working on the shadow edge of that uh, jug, and you can, if you can see what I see, there's some nice reflection from that pair in there. But that's not really the whole color in itself. So. I'm going to go with a little bit of warm. Real quick principle. And uh, if we have a cool light coming in the window, and a still life is going to have uh, relatively cool on the, the light side, which means our shadow side is going to. Um, it absorbs all the warmth tones in the room. So this is, you know, it's kind of a, a, a white studio, off-white, egg white, whatever. But a lot of things bounce in color into it. So the shadow in this room is warm. So we've got to keep that in mind. That sometimes, most times in a, in a still life or uh, even in a portrait, your, your shadow side is going to be warm. Opposite outside, when you're outside, because you have a violet or a blue on a blue sky day, you have a violet and a blue uh, dome of light over the top of you, right? That blue sky, that reflects into a lot of the shadow area. So outdoors, you're gonna have a cool shadow and the sunlight is warming up uh, a lot of things. So you, you'll see a more of a, uh, things more on the warm side that's getting sunlight and cooler in your shadow. <laughs> I lost my train of thought there because I was trying to pick this color up. This is not really the right pressure. Sometimes we get lazy and we stay with a brush we really shouldn't be using. And um, at some point we'll say, okay, we gotta get that right brush done. Why this brush is better is because it gives me a lot of latitude for scrubbing. And at this point, so much as still shaping. So I want to see where that shadow goes to. Notice how I'm holding this edge. At some point, I'll commit to getting it. Okay, the reason I didn't pull that shadow over into this area more because I think I have to get a little bit of color in here. Um, it's very subtle.
seems to be a uh, it almost goes it looks like it's going green in here interesting thing is I can't I can't put uh, can't get the right word to what that color is. I have to just kind of paint it. So I feel like I hit it. Because it's shifting. It's going, whoops, too much red on there. But um, it's going warm, it's green. This corner right here. This is dark as that background. So maybe I'll take some of that background control. I'm not doing that. <clears throat> I'm establishing a sense of pitch in the painting so that this isn't way off base. What I am seeing here now, and my eyes start to see. By the way, it's getting totally gray out there. Of the blue sky, so our light source has now changed a little bit on us. <laughs> but what I'm seeing in the shadow is this beautiful light on the edge from the pear. It's a, a warm light from, from, from my angle. At some place here.
Lola wasn't sure if you heard her well, so she moved, she moved her uh, bed uh, five feet closer.